Hey, are you wondering how well you're doing with your bookkeeping? Maybe you're at a total loss of where to begin, and maybe you're not sure how well you're actually doing, and you just need to know the next steps to take. During a bookkeeping strength assessment, I work with business owners one-on-one for about 30 minutes and identify what their next step needs to be. I'll lead the conversation by asking some open-ended questions and then ask 10 laser focus questions so I can pinpoint exactly what you should do next and how strong you are with your bookkeeping. Business owners find this to be the boost of confidence they need to tackle their bookkeeping head on. To get on my calendar for a free session, you can email me at Lydia at DACBalance.com or message me on Instagram at Lydia.Miller.MBA. Now on with the show. Hey there, my name is Lydia Miller and I want you to be successful with your numbers no matter what stage of business you're in. This podcast will help you do just that. Learn about doing your bookkeeping yourself, outsourcing your bookkeeping successfully to a professional, and understanding your numbers and the story they're telling. We can avoid the overwhelm and continue creating a business we love to run. Welcome back to the podcast. Throughout the month of December, I'm sharing ways that I prepared for 2020 and systems and processes that I put in place in 2019 that make me feel really good about how productive that I can be throughout 2020. In 2019, I really focused on finding things that work for me and ignoring things that don't, even if it works for everybody else. So for some people, certain types of technology work great for them and it was a struggle for me to use. And I really decided to let go of those things and to only focus on systems that keep me productive. And that's what I want to talk about today. Things that I let go of in 2019 and how I decided that less is best. Several months ago, I read High Performance Habits and one of those habits was that high performers know what to focus on. In January 2019, I made the decision to scale back on what was offered as services to my clients. I was offering monthly bookkeeping and I decided that really wasn't my strength and I just didn't enjoy it. So I let go of it. It was a really hard decision because it affected my revenue and my business and my profit and I wasn't sure how I was going to make up for it at the time. But I knew ultimately that it wasn't the direction that I wanted to go with my business. And then I decided to look into making a course and selling that and making some PDFs and selling those and really trying to be an online company. And I got started creating those, but I found that there are so many industries with different quirks and I wasn't able to make a bookkeeping program broad enough or specific enough and still make sure that I was serving each client well. And so then I decided to offer a new service, customizing bookkeeping systems, but that still was rough because business owners either have a simple enough system that they create what worked for them, or they were just ready to get rid of it, of the responsibility and to work in their strengths. All through 2019, I was picking up things and then letting them go and picking up things and letting them go. I didn't think that this was a waste of time because you don't know until you try and you have to keep trying until you find something that works for your business. So in May, I went away to the beach for a few days by myself and I really dug into some questions that some fellow business owners were having about their numbers. I was able to identify that there are three main things that they're struggling with, doing it themselves, outsourcing successfully, and understanding what the reports mean. And I tell you, it was like the angel started singing. (laughs) Since then, I have been able to focus on those three areas and really see progress for my clients. It's been so much easier to create content and resources since knowing those things. And since I wasn't trying to be everything for everybody. But first, I had to let go of all those other expectations of courses and guides and all the other things that were not focused on my goal. Letting go of projects is hard. I also narrowed my focus to working on five major things in my business and write only and not doing all of the other ideas that I have because in my Sunday basket, I have a ton of new ideas. And so right now, those five things are number one, this podcast and creating consistent focused content. Number two, my free Facebook group where I help you get your business, where I help you get your bookkeeping done and understanding the numbers. Number three, my current clients that I'm serving. 
Number four, my bookkeeping strategy sessions. And number five, sales. And that's it. If opportunities or ideas come up that don't fit into those categories, then I say not right now. As an entrepreneur, I have dozens of ideas every single day. (laughs) And I do keep them by writing them on a three by five card and filing them away in my Sunday basket. But I'm not trying to take action on all of them at the same time like I was for most of this year. I had to decide that less truly is best. So in your business, are you doing too much? Are you unsure of how to best serve your clients? And do you know what you uniquely bring to the marketplace and focus on those efforts instead of all of your efforts? I'd encourage you to pare it down to five main things that you're focused on and go all in with those things or maybe just one or two. Make them amazing. Be consistent. Find out what works and what doesn't, and then add on more when you can prove to yourself that it's successful and can run on its own. You only have so much time and energy to spend, so make the most of it. Next week, I am going to talk about how having a baby changes everything in your business. And until then, I'll be snuggling a newborn and enjoying this new season of life. I would be honored to work with you when I get back from maternity leave in January. To get started, you can email me at Lydia at DACBalance.com with the problem that you're having, and we can discuss the best way to get to a solution in a bookkeeping strength assessment call. If you're ready to use your numbers to help your business, please subscribe so you'll be notified when the next episode drops. I would love to connect with you outside of the podcast. You can find me on Instagram at Lydia.Miller.MBA and always by email Lydia at DACBalance.com. So until next time, go and make it happen. Bye.